Welcome back to 242 Math. I am your host, Raphael Thompson. And today we'll be looking at grade 2 mathematics skills test. So, grade 2 parents and students, tune in and let's see what your child can do. Question 1 Write the number that the place value models show. So, these are place value models that we're looking at. What number do the place value models show? It's a number with two digits. Okay, write it. Let's see if you can get that done. And we move on to question two. Write the numeral 26. Now remember, numeral is the same as number. Write the numeral or the number 26. How do you write that two digit number? 26. Do it quickly before we move on. And we are moving on to question three. Okay, grade two students, here we go. Two parts. Complete each equation. A, 23 is equal to how many tens plus how many ones? Do that first, put a number for the tens and number for the ones. And 36 is equal to how many tens and how many ones? So just put your numbers in the boxes. Got it? Question four. Circle the bird that comes next. And you have flamingo hummingbird, flamingo hummingbird. What bird would come next, given that pattern? Circle it. And we will move on to question five. Complete this addition fact family. So remember what a fact family is. And you have the numbers two, one, and three that comprise this, that make up this fact family. Two plus one is three. Write another fact, addition fact for that. Two plus one is three. And we move on to question six. Ray has three marbles. He won four more marbles. How many marbles does Ray have all together? So it's a word problem that you have to solve. Remember, you can put sticks or circles to represent the marbles. Add them up and see how many Ray would have all together. Question seven. Compare these numbers using those symbols. Those symbols would be less than, greater than, or equal to. And you're comparing the numbers eight and five. Use one of those symbols to compare the numbers eight and five. Question eight. Circle the even numbers. Look at the numbers that are given. 2, 5, 1, and 4. Circle all of the even numbers. Go ahead. Just circle the even numbers. Got it? Question 9. Circle the shape that comes next in this pattern. Circle the shape that comes next. And we move on to question 10. What comes next? Okay, which number? What number would come next? And it's going up in this order: two, four, six, eight, ten. What comes next? So write the number that would come next in that pattern, in that sequence. Question 
Western Eleven. Word problem. Tom has five marbles. Ray has eight marbles. How many more marbles does Ray have than Tom? Tom has five marbles. Ray has eight marbles. How many more marbles does Ray have than Tom? So do the working. Come up with an answer. Another word problem. And we move on to question 12. Write the missing numbers on the number line. There are two numbers that are missing on that number line. Write those two numbers that are missing on the number line. Number 13. Complete this subtraction fact family. 7 take away 5 equals 2. So write another equation for that subtraction fact family. Remember you have to use the same numbers because the numbers are family. 7 take away 5 is equal to 2. Number 14. There we go. Circle the name of the day that comes right after Sunday. Circle the name of the day that comes right after Sunday. Is it Saturday or Monday or Tuesday? Circle one of those days. Got it? And we move on now to question 15. 6 plus 3 is equal to what? So you're doing horizontal addition. 6 plus 3 is equal to something. Do it on your fingers or put sticks or circles. 6 plus 3, what do you get? Just go to 6 and count on 3. From six. Question 16. Here we go. Arrange these numbers in descending order. Well, you have to know descending order, what that means. Arrange these numbers in descending order. And the numbers are five, 10, two, 15, and one. Write them in descending order. Do it quickly before we move on. Got it? Excellent work. Question 17. Here we go. 10 take away 4 is equal to what? So you have horizontal subtraction now. 10 take away 4 is equal to what? And you have 10 fingers, so you can easily do it. Put up 10 fingers and take away 4. See what you are left with. 10 take away 4. This is basic stuff for grade 2. Question 18 now. Circle the name of the month that comes right before March. Circle the name of the month that comes right before March. Is it April, January, or February? Circle the name of the month that comes right before March. And we move on to question 19. Circle the letter under the third picture. Circle the letter under the third picture. So is it A, B, C, D, or E? 
you look at the pictures, you want to circle the lead under the third picture. Question 20. Circle the solid shape. There are four shapes. One of them represents a solid shape. Circle the one that shows the solid shape. Question 21. 74 plus 12. 74 plus 12. So you're doing vertical addition now. So you can do these on your fingers or put sticks or circles. 74 plus 12. And we move on to question 22. Circle the cylinder. Four shapes are there. One of them represents a cylinder. Circle the cylinder. Question 23. Write the numeral 602. Remember numeral and number, same thing. Write the number or write the numeral 602. Got it? Question 24. Circle the object that is shaped like a rectangular prism. Some big words. Circle the object that is shaped like a rectangular prism. And you have four objects there. Which one is shaped like a rectangular prism? Let's go grade two. Question 25. Shade two quarters of this shape. Shade two quarters of this shape. It's divided into quarters. Shade two quarters of the shape. Got it? Good. Question 26. What time is it? Look at the clock face. What time is it? It's something o'clock. Let's go grade two. I know you can get that correct. And we move right along to question 27. Let's go grade two. Use the bar graph to answer the following question. And there is the bar graph, students and clubs, number of students and the clubs, science, sports, writing, spelling. How many students are in the science club? How many students are in the science club? Done? Yes, we move on to question 28. Circle the letter which the spinner is more likely to land on. Circle the letter which the spinner is more likely to land on. Question 29. 
96 take away 53. So you're doing vertical subtraction. 96 take away 53. Use your fingers or use circles or sticks to work it out. Do it quickly. No regrouping or renaming, so you're straight, straightforward. Question 30. All of the following shapes are made up of squares. Circle the shape with an area of six square units. Three shapes there. Which one has an area of six square units? units. Circle the correct one. Now, the fun part, you will mark your answers. Here we go. Question one. What was the answer to question one? Write the number that the place value models show. It's a two digit number. Yes, that number is 21. Two tens and one one. Question two, write the numeral 26. Write it using numbers. 26 is two six, 26. Got it? Question three, complete each equation. Yes, the first one is two, 23, so it's two tens and three ones, and then it's three tens and six ones. Question four, circle the bird that comes next. Here we go, circle it. Yes, the flamingo would come next. Question five. Complete this addition fact family, two plus one is three. So, use the same numbers, one plus two is three. Question six. Ray has three marbles, he won four more marbles. How many marbles does Ray have altogether? Put three marbles above three, but four marbles above four. Count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three would have seven marbles. Question seven. Compare these numbers using the symbols eight and five. So you have to point it to the five. So eight is greater than five. Question eight. Circle the even numbers. Let's circle them. Yeah, two is even. Circle the next one. Wait on it. Four, two and four, even numbers. Question nine. Circle the shape that comes next. Circle it, let's go, circle it. Here, the circle would come next, very good. Question 10. What comes next, two, four, six, eight, 10? What number would come next? Wait on it, wait on it. There it is, 12. You're counting up by twos. Going in twos, keep counting by twos. Question 11. Rhea has five marbles. Tom has five, Rhea has eight. How many marbles does Rhea have? How many more marbles does Rhea have than Tom? Take away five from the eight. One, two, three. So Rhea would have three more marbles than Tom. Question 12. Write the missing numbers on the number line. What two numbers are missing? Put them in, yes, one. What else is missing? Zero, one, two, three, one and three. Question 13. Complete this subtraction fact family. Seven take away five is two, so seven take away two is five. Yeah, use the same numbers, just switch them around. Question 14. Circle the name of the day that comes right after Sunday. Which one is it? Wait on it, wait on it. What comes right after Sunday? Monday. Question 15, let's go grade two. Six plus three. Use your fingers, count on from six, count three, on from six, yes, the answer is nine. Question 16. Arrange these numbers in descending order. So what's the highest number? 
15, then 10, 5, 2, 1. From the highest to the lowest, descending, it's going down. Question 17, 10, take away 4. Use your fingers, 10 fingers, take away 4, 6. Question 18, here we go, grade 2. Circle the name of the month that comes right before March. Wait on it, wait on it. What comes right before March? February, February comes right before March. Question 19. Circle the letter under the third picture. The third picture would be the lighthouse. So you circle the C, the letter C. Question 20. Circle the solid shape. You're playing in solid shapes. Three of them are plain and one is solid. Yes, it would be the box shape at the end. So rectangular prism. Question 21. You are adding 74 plus 12. Let's wait on it. Add the four and the two. And then add the seven and the one. 86. Question 22. Here we go. Circle the cylinder. Wait on it. Which one is the cylinder? The first one, shaped like a can. That's the cylinder, very good. Question 23. Write the numeral 602. How would you write that? 602. Question 24. Moving right along. Circle the object that is shaped like a rectangular prism. Once it's shaped like a box, there it is. It's a rectangular prism. Question 25. Shade two quarters of the shape. So how much, how much of the shape would you shade? You would shade two of those. So you get half of it, two quarters. Question 26. What time is it? Whatever the short hand, once it's on, the long is on 12, whatever the short hand points to, that's the time, o'clock. So it is, wait on it, two o'clock. Question 27, that was easy. Use the bar graph to answer the following question. And there is the bar graph, students in the clubs. And you want to know how many students in the science club. So find science along the bottom and then see along the side what number it stops at. Wait on it, six, six students. Question 28. Circle a letter which is pen is more likely to land on. It's more likely to land on A. Question 29. Subtraction. 96 take away 53 vertical. 6 take away 3 and 9 take away 5. 43 is correct. Question 30, the final one. All of the following are made up of squares. Circle is shaped with the area of 6 square units. Wait on it. Yeah, 6 of them in that last one. Thank you all for watching, and if your child did not get 100%, just go back over it until they can get 100% on this basic test. See you all in the next one. That's a wrap.